we hear a lot about transition plan at the moment because their publication is going to be mandatory uh, for companies in the uh, European Union and including also for banks. And at uh, I4CE, we think it's a, it's a first step, an important first step. But we think that for regarding banks, we could uh, go further by making uh, those uh, transition plan mandatory within prudential regulation. So prudential regulation is a regulation for banks that ensure financial stability. And regarding climate risk, we know that if the transition is happening in a delayed or in a disorderly manner, for example, with strong energy shocks, um, the risks are much higher for the banks. And we also know that if the transition is uh, happening in a more progressive and orderly manner, then the risks are lower for the banks. And that's why we think transition plans are an interesting tool, both for the banks and for the supervisors. And in our new report, uh, we describe three dimensions. First, the key element of the transition plan, then what should be the, the scope uh, of such plan and it, why it should cover all the bank's activities. And finally, um, what governance to make sure that the plan is fully implemented by the banks. Our proposal to integrate transition plan within uh, Pillar 2 of financial uh, regulation would actually allow uh, for many more levers of actions uh, for supervisor. For example, if the transition plan of the bank is not robust enough or if it's not uh, enough based on science, the supervisors could take some actions. They could ask for, for training, training of the board or training of the management. They could also ask for some evolution of the remuneration practices to make sure that the objectives of the plan is fully integrated within the remuneration. They could also ask for what we call uh, exposure limits, which means that uh, it forbids the banks to be too involved in some uh, high-risk uh, sectors, such as fossil fuel. And finally, if those uh, actions are not sufficient, the supervisor can uh, also take uh, some financial sanctions that we call uh, capital add-ons.